Okay, we're here in La Posa de Avispo. It's a tiny little beach on the north coast of uh, Arecibo. And this would be my second flight. And I'm a little bit nervous because there is a little bit of a breeze. But from what I've seen about the DJI Mini 3 Pro, it can kind of handle enough wind. But for your second flight, it's a little nerve wracking. So, uh, second voyage, great, very nervous though. You're really nervous when you're flying. You just keep thinking, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. And the other thing is looking at the screen versus looking at the drone versus the controls. So it takes a little while to get used to. I'm sure I will get used to it, but very fun. As a Superman fan, the closest I'll get to flying. All right, let's go in the water. So uh, yesterday's flight was a success. I was so happy when I saw the footage. I was like showing everyone, mouth wide open. I think we've seen so much drone footage that we've like taken it for granted. But when you capture it yourself, there's just, <laughs> there's just something special about it. So I was like a little kid, absolutely little kid. So now I'm in a new location in Arecibo. It's actually where the river empties out into the ocean. Uh, so I'm going to try to see what I get here. Hopefully be a little bit more confident in flying. All right, let's go. We also have a very cool seat to sit in. Here I'm actually trying to fly it into, into this uh, palm tree and it won't go. So that's great. So I'm getting like a warning on here. Definitely need that. A bug just hit the drone, by the way, I think got sliced in half. It's going in the grass. Yay! All right, there are a couple of things I learned on that flight. I'm, number one, I was still nervous. <laughs> the other thing was I was prepared because I studied and reviewed and read up before I flew about birds. If a bird is sort of annoyed by your drone, which one of them was, I just went up. I was so nervous that I reached the maximum altitude. The controller was like, uh, you've gone high enough. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to try to record a little bit more, work on my movements, and uh, let's see how round two goes. But by the way, you need this battery pack. Like, it, you just need it. It Already the drone from a little bit of flying has maybe uh, one click down or two clicks down, and I definitely want to fly more. So get the fly more combo. <laughs> Didn't mean that at all. The other thing is this ND filter from Freewell. Uh, that is also a necessity too, because this has a 1.7 aperture and um, it's so bright out here that you know you kind of want to keep those shutter speeds down so when you go fly by things it doesn't seem so juddery that was fun okay this is uh drone part three we have good lighting now the sun is setting we are here in a nice little baseball field near the mountains and we have like nicer light like the sun is setting um the only issue is we're near an airport so we're gonna test that now i checked my app i think i'm far enough 
and we're gonna see what happens. Okay, let's see. There's some like stray dogs over here. It's kind of like Isle of Dogs over here and I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Okay, that was pretty successful. Uh, I got a little brave and went into a basketball court, which is crazy. And that seems to be happening. The more comfortable you get, the more risk you take, which is probably when your drone crashes. So I'm still a little bit cautious, but being a little adventurous too. Obstacle avoidance uh, rang when I was like getting near a pole, so that was pretty cool. Now one thing I wish was just a little bit better were the exposure controls. They're kind of like your phone, you touch where you want to expose and you can pick your exposure. But the fine tuning, I just wish it was just a little bit easier to fine tune. Um, and there's also a delay when you change your exposure. Super fun. This little guy, man, is so fun. Not just so much to film, because it's kind of like, are you always going to make a movie? But just to fly is great and to see everything around. Love it. All right, let's hope the dogs don't get me. Hey guys, we are here at a marina because today we're gonna try to fly the drone in the ocean. <laughs> Not in the ocean, <laughs> above the ocean, hopefully. Radar contact is lost. You also got Newark Airport up at 2 o'clock in about 7 miles. 's flying was very challenging because we had to follow a boat there was no landing spot so what I learned today was how to sort of guide the drone back to a moving boat and uh, <laughs> try to grab it and land it that way uh, but we got some good footage of my cousin's uh, Bertram boat here he restores boats and sells them so this is a que, 1974 that 73 this boat is 50 years old and he restores boats so if you're in the puerto rico area or anywhere and need a bertram boat restored he meant his boats brought to you by my cousin all right we're back where we started from day one of drone flying and we should probably talk about should you have a drone and close this out with that so my first advice is, oh my God, it was so much fun. It was a, insanely fun that yes, if you want a new toy that can give you a new perspective, uh, new compositions, a new hobby, because you can do drone photography, then yes, it was absolutely 100% worth it. Get it. And, and the, the little 249 gram DJI Mini 3 Pro is the perfect choice, I think if you're not gonna be like a drone director of feature films. So 
yes, yes, and yes, 100%. But also, I can, I'm here in Puerto Rico, where I can take beautiful drone footage and get a new perspective on a new place. And that's what happens, I think. Some people will buy a drone and then it just sits in a closet in a bag, the fly less combo, and because you're not anywhere special. So you have to think about that too. How often are you going to use it? So shop wisely that way. Oh, we also want to say thanks to B&H for letting us play with this. And also, by the way, happy birthday, B&H, 50 years. If you guys are in the city and want to hang out, I'll be there at the Build Expo. So stop by and say hi. Overall, it just made me feel, like I said, just like I was flying, like a hero, like Superman.